Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be doing a cubic regression on Desmos. So when you're doing a regression, you wanna make a scatter plot and then do a type of statistical regression to see the line or curve of best fit. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna to go to the top left where it says plus, and I'm going to add an item and I'm going to choose table. And then in box one, you'll see this table where all the X values go on the left side and all the Y values go on the right side. So for this example, I'm going to have negative one, negative 0 0.33, 0, 0 0.53, 2, and 2.7. So those are going to be my X values. Over here on the right side, I'm going to put in my Y values. I'm going to have negative 5, negative 0 0.11, negative 1, negative 4.98, negative 12, and 0. It's very important to make sure you have as many Y values as you do X values, or your table will be mismatched. Now, to see all the dots very easily, we're gonna go down to the bottom of box one where you see a magnifying glass called zoom fit. We're gonna hit that once and it's gonna zoom in on all six of my dots. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to create my cubic regression equation. So to do that, I'm gonna click in box two and I'm going to type in a cubic expression. Now for my Y, I'm gonna to need to put a one with that so I can have Y one. And that's very simple. You just go down to the keypad, you click that, and I'm gonna choose the Y right here for my Y variable. And then I'm gonna click one. And that'll automatically make that one into a subscript for the Y. Next, I'm gonna need my regression symbol, which is a squiggle. I like to call it a squiggle, but it's called the tilde. To find it, you're gonna to go to ABC at the bottom and then on the bottom row of the keypad, you'll see the squiggly line. You're going to click that once, and then the squiggle will pop up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in our cubic expression. I'm going to need my lowercase a, and then I'm going to need an x. So I'm going to go back to my variables. I'm going to choose x and a 1. Make sure that that x has a subscript of 1, or else it won't work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise that to the power of three. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add BX squared. So I'm going to click plus, go and grab my lowercase b, and then use X1, and then I'm going to square that. The next thing I'm going to do is add CX. So I'm going to click add. C, X, one. And then the last thing I need is my plus D. So I'm gonna hit plus, and then I'm gonna go to the ABC menu to grab the D. So now I've have my cubic regression equation. AX cubed plus BX squared plus CX plus D. My highest exponent is three. And that's what makes it a cubic regression. Now the R squared value is going to be under statistics. It is 0 0.9997. That's very close to one. That makes it a very good approximation. The next thing that I'm going to do is under residuals, you'll see E1. And I want to plot my error terms. So I'm going to hit the plot button. And then my error terms are going to show up as purple dots near the X axis. And the bigger the error terms, that means the farther the point is away from our black regression curve. Down here under parameters, you'll see what A, B, C, and D are. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create our regression function. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click into box three and I'm gonna have my function notation F of X. And I'm just gonna type in the equation exactly as I see it right here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace A, B, C, and D with the actual numbers. So A is gonna give me 3.11038. Make sure you use all the decimal points to be precise. And now I need X cubed 
plus B, which is actually going to be a minus 6.29213. And then I'm going to multiply that by X squared minus C, which is 5.33598. Put an X beside that. And then I'm going to add D at the end, which is negative 0 0.973709. So now I have my black regression function right there. So now clicking into box four, what I can do with this function is I can predict Y values. So the question asked me, predict what Y is when X is negative two. So if X is negative two, all I need to do is replace this X right here inside the parentheses with a negative two. So I'm gonna type in F of negative two, close that up. And then on the bottom of box four, you will see the predicted Y value, which is negative 40.35, if you round to the nearest hundredth place. So that's how you do a cubic regression. And I hope that helps.